This episode is brought to you by Google Pixel, the official fan phone of the NBA and WNBA. The new Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro are built different. How? Take the audio magic eraser tool. It helps block out distracting crowd noise so your play-by-play commentary sounds crystal clear. The only phone engineered by Google brings out the audio you care about so your videos sound as crisp as they look. Learn more at googlestore.com forward slash pixel NBA. Audio magic eraser requires Google Photos app. May not work on all audio elements. Brooks Running has a new shoe for you runners out there. Did you hear that? Better turn up your volume. In fact, turn it up to the max. Introducing the all-new Ghost Max. It's got all kinds of things to make your knees and ankles feel protected, like Max Cushion, Max Soft Landings with DNA Loft V2 Foam, and Max Smooth Rides with their Glide Roll Rocker. Feel better on your run with Ghost Max. Learn more at brooksrunning.com. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2397. What if I don't want to or can't lift heavy? By Nia Shanks of niashanks.com. And I'm your host and narrator, Dr. Neil. Hey there, happy Saturday, and welcome back to another weekend edition of Optimal Health Daily. This is where I read to you from some of the best health and fitness blogs on the web, and always with a bit of my commentary at the end. So with that, let's keep this intro nice and short and get right to the post as we optimize your life. What if I don't want to or can't lift heavy? By Nia Shanks of niashanks.com. What if you don't want to lift heavy or you can't because of an injury or physical limitation? This is a topic I've thought about discussing for a while in a recent online exchange between Matt Ryan Brown and my good friend Jen Comis Keck spurred this idea into fruition. Jen posted an excellent article about fitness bullies that I strongly agree with, and it's a short read worth your time. In response, Matt posted the following remark to Jen. Nobody mentions that, hey, Maybe he or she doesn't want to lift heavy. What then? This is a great question, and it's about time I provided a helpful response. A while back, I posted 30 rules to lift like a girl and look absolutely awesome. And the first rule was to lift heavy. Now, lifting heavy is a relative term that can mean something entirely different to various individuals. However, in an effort to eliminate confusion, let's assume that by lifting heavy, we're referring specifically to big barbell exercises like squatting, deadlifting, rowing, and pressing. And to stick with the heavy theme, we'll say this means anywhere between a single repetition and six repetitions. Yes, this is up for debate, but I'm using this as an example to keep things consistent. And yes, I encourage everyone, male, female, non-binary, everyone to squat and deadlift in some form. They don't have to perform a barbell back squat or a conventional deadlift from the floor, but they should do some variation. Yes, I encourage trainees to get strong in these basic exercises and lift a challenging load in the range of three to six repetitions, depending on programming. I even challenge individuals to lift heavy singles, doubles, and triples if they want to lift really heavy weights safely. Also, I encourage trainees to do what they enjoy, to follow a strength training regimen that keeps them motivated and excited to hit the gym or wherever they train on a consistent basis. But strength training isn't limited to just lifting a heavy barbell. There are a few valid questions we should ask. What if someone genuinely doesn't want to lift heavy? What if someone has zero interest in squatting their body weight, deadlifting a very heavy single, or bench pressing? What if someone has previous injuries or other physical limitations that prevent them from participating in heavy lifting? Or in other words, is it mandatory to lift heavy if you just want to look awesome? The short answer is no. Lifting heavy is not mandatory to achieve awesome results. However, and I'm personally guilty of this, lifting heavy is sometimes portrayed as the best way to achieve your health, body composition, and performance goals. If you're not lifting heavy, then you're doing it all wrong, or so it seems. I have friends and clients who don't engage in heavy lifting via barbell exercises because they don't have access to such equipment. They train at home or travel frequently. Some have previous or existing injuries that make heavy barbell exercises impractical or dangerous, and others genuinely just don't like it. But these individuals can and do train hard, build a stronger, leaner, and healthier body in the absence of traditional heavy barbell exercises. 
and if they so desire, they can increase their strength via advanced bodyweight exercises. Note, the discussion of getting crazy strong with only bodyweight exercises is beyond the scope of this article, but I'll discuss it more in the very near future. For now, just know you can get very strong with bodyweight exercises like dips, chins, front levels, pistols, handstand push-ups, and various other movements. But back to the topic at hand. You don't have to engage in heavy lifting if your sole concern and goal is to look better and improve your health. I apologize if through my articles I've made it seem as if heavy weightlifting is the holy grail to building an awesome body, and that if you don't do it too, you won't get results, because that just ain't true. Yes, heavy weightlifting, with an emphasis on the basic barbell exercises, is very effective, but it's not the only way to achieve phenomenal results. My recent example. I love lifting heavy. I love seeing how much weight I can pull, squat, and press. For example, just a few weeks ago, I set a big all-time personal record and squatted one and a half times my body weight. I was ecstatic to finally achieve that goal. However, once I finally squatted one and a half times my body weight, my desire to squat heavy quickly waned. Heck, my desire to perform a barbell squat in any capacity took a nosedive. This confession may be a shock to the readers of my blog. I don't always enjoy lifting heavy. Occasionally, I have zero desire or motivation to put a heavy barbell on my back or pull one off the ground. Furthermore, I've been experiencing some nagging injuries lately that make lifting a heavy barbell problematic. Recently, to keep my enthusiasm for training elevated and to help my injuries heal, I started to play around with bodyweight-only workouts. I traded in my barbell for a chin-up bar, parallel bars, a jungle gym, and the great outdoors for sprinting and outdoor training. With this new endeavor, I'm currently working my way towards handstand push-ups and other bodyweight exercises, and I'm having a blast in the process. Even though I'm not currently lifting heavy as described earlier, I'm still training hard, and I look and feel as awesome as ever, in my opinion at least. I'm by no means abandoning heavy lifting, but for now, I am taking a detour. The bottom line. If you want to look absolutely awesome, you don't have to train with barbells. You don't have to lift very heavy weights. Whether you don't have the equipment to do so, you have nagging injuries or other physical limitations, you want a completely new challenge, or you just don't like it, lifting heavy is not mandatory. You should engage in some form of resistance training or challenging physical activity that keeps you motivated, fits your lifestyle and personality, your physical abilities, and leads you toward your goals. But how you go about that is entirely up to you. Your training could be via bodyweight workouts, training with kettlebells, free weights, strongman equipment, sandbags, resistance bands, yoga, mountain biking, sprinting, metabolic circuits, rock climbing, medicine balls, and any combination of those tools you choose. After all, if you don't enjoy the journey, you're not going to get the results you're after and maintain them long term. Do what makes you happy and keeps you going back for more. You just listened to the post titled, What If I Don't Want To or Can't Lift Heavy? by Nia Shanks of niashanks.com. Apple Gift Card is a practical gift that unlocks a world of entertainment and fun. You can send it via email or give a physical card to your loved ones. Your friends and family can spend it on their favorite Apple services, including Apple subscriptions. Apple Gift Card can be used to buy all things Apple. Products, accessories, apps, games, movies, TV shows, iCloud Plus, and more. Visit apple.com for details and to send Apple Gift Cards to your friends and family this holiday season. Introducing Royal Caribbean's newest ship, Icon of the Seas, the ultimate family vacation. The ultimate six slides, eight neighborhoods, zero compromise vacation. The ultimate never done that, can't wait to do it vacation. The ultimate chillin' by a different pool every day of the week vacation. This is the icon of vacations. Icon of the seas. Arriving in 2024. Book today. Come seek the Royal Caribbean. Ships Registry Bahamas. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. As you know, I'm a huge fan of finding exercises you enjoy, just as today's author, Nia, mentioned. And consistency is one of the most important things, especially when you're just starting out. 
But if you want to improve your performance or break a plateau, you may have to step out of that comfort zone and perform occasional activities you may not enjoy as much. Just as Nia mentioned, she doesn't necessarily like lifting heavy, but does it for the potential benefits. I like to lift heavily occasionally, but it's definitely taxing on the entire body. People often ask me, but how do I know if I'm actually strong, like that it's actually heavy? How much should I be lifting? Nia gave us the example of squatting one and a half times her body weight. Is that strong? Yes. And she brought up a great point about relative strength. Instead of everyone, say, setting a goal of squatting 225 pounds exactly, it may be better to think of lifting heavy in terms of your own body weight. So when it comes to squats, deadlifts, bench presses, and pull-ups as measures of strength, it may be best to think of them in terms of each in relation to your body weight. So if you can squat or deadlift one and a half times your body weight at least one time, meaning for at least one repetition, I would say you're strong. If you can bench press at least your body weight, again, at least one time or for at least one repetition, same deal. I would say you're strong. If you can perform at least 10 strict pull-ups without stopping, I would also say you're strong. Of course, for more personal assessments of strength and how you compare to national averages, a certified trainer can help you with this. But the bottom line is, don't feel as though you have to lift heavy all the time. And in fact, lifting heavy all the time is gonna be really taxing on the body. All right, that'll do it for the Saturday episode. I hope you have a great weekend if you're listening in real time. And I'll be back here tomorrow as usual where your optimal life awaits.